All right, we'll take up file 2007-7713. Shana Nestor and Gerald Birchfield. Mr. Birchfield's here for a show cause and Ms. Hummel's here from Friend of the Court. Ms. Hummel, do you have an update in the matter? Yes, uh, Mr. Birchfield's ordered pay 377 child support, $20 medical support. He has a balance of $20,772.31. Of that, $200 is bench warrant, contempt fine, 651 in fees. 18,327.12 to the plaintiff, $1,594.19 to the state of Michigan. He did receive a $20 payment April 13th of 2023, uh, $117.75 February 24th, 2023, and 127.36 to 17, 2023. All right. And, yeah, and sir, do you agree that you owe the amount stated? Yes, I do. Yep. All right. Um, you've not been making uh, full payments on a consistent basis, and have you, you've accumulated quite an arrearage. What's going on? Yeah. Um, just since I got out last July, um, got a job for a little while, ended up losing it due to my other, just some problem issues with my other son. Um, yesterday, I don't know, seasonal work is... I guess what I'm going to try to do here, I have Dave Cole Decorators, a paint company that I was going to work for last July um, when I was arrested for child support prior to this. Um, anyways, he's going to bring me back on once the weather breaks. I haven't been employed. Um, I, I'm looking for work now, I guess is all I can really say. Um, he's going to put me to work as soon as the weather breaks then I can make some regular payments. I'll try to hold on to this job um, as long as I can stay out of jail long enough or I have, I've gotten my driver's license recently. That's, you know, helping me out. Look, I mean, it's helping me look for employment. Um, that's all I can say. I'm trying. I'm, so uh... I've just recently got my driver's license in the last six or eight months. Um, I had a little bit of a trouble keeping a decent vehicle, reliable vehicle through the winter. So um, how do you mean your other expenses? How do you got a place to live? And I don't, I'm not. My landlord's working with me, uh, state assistance through DHS. I have verification of all that. Um, everything I'm behind on everything. I don't, my bank accounts in the negative. There's lots of jobs out there right now. Yeah, yeah, I'm working. I mean, I've, I've got some under the table work, just enough to keep me going, keep fridge, you know, food in the refrigerator. I've got shut off notices. Um, I, I'm trying. Well, my point is, is there are a lot of places hiring. You shouldn't have a problem finding a job. I don't. I'm not having a problem. I mean, a lot of people don't accept felons. I've got a lot of felonies. Uh, my background doesn't help me. Um, I, like I said, I'm filling out applications, going to interviews, getting, you know, people are uh, hiring me back. It's seasonal work. I have somebody that's going to employ me here in a week or so. That's, uh, that's the best I can do. I have several piece, uh, landscape companies that will hire me, but there's snow on the ground, as you can tell today. Not a lot of people are cutting any grass. Um, I'm, I'm trying. I'm applying. I have several people willing to put me to work as soon as the snow is gone. All right. Well, it appears that you have the ability to make payments. You failed to do so. I'll find you in contempt for failing to make the payments that were ordered. Since the 90 days will be held in abeyance, you don't have to serve it as long as you make your payments. Um, Thousand dollars needs to be paid by the end of May. And then your monthly payment. I, mean, I, I plan on setting up. As soon as I go to work for Dave Cole, you guys have that work history. I've worked for them prior, and you guys have taken child support from them. Okay, great. As soon uh, as I go to pay, work. I'm not sending you to jail today. I'm telling you, you need to pay 1000 by the end of May and make your monthly payments, 397 plus an arrears payment, probably another 150 or 200 a month May. thereafter. If you do that, you won't have to serve that 90 days. If you fail to do that, the 90 days will be imposed. The twenty-five hundred dollar bond. There's a hundred dollar contempt fine. All right, I'll do. I'll do the best I can, sir. That's all I can tell you. I, I'm doing the best I can. 
right, you're all set. I have custody of my six-year-old son. I have to keep a roof over his head as well. Um, I have a 13-year-old daughter that lives with me. I'm doing the best that I can. All right, well, the order is gonna indicate you need to pay a thousand by the end of May and make your monthly payments. Okay. 